Hello, my name's Dale Martins. I'm with HD Nobby. Today, I'd like to share with you the procedure for changing out wheel seal and hubcap gaskets for HD Nobby's air disc brakes. But before we get into that, it's important to know that you've got the right tools and sockets on hand. So let's review what you're going to need. First, 13 millimeter hubcap socket. Second, 24 millimeter disc bolt. Third, six millimeter magnetic oil fill plug. And then finally, a torque wrench adapter half drive to three quarter inch male. Now you're gonna need a couple of torque wrench on hand. The first one is a 20 foot per pound hub for hubcap torque verification. The second one is a torque wrench of 250 pound for spindle nut and disc bolt torque verification. Spindle nut socket is four and one eighth inch and is six points. For reference, P sp in spindle uses three and one fourth inch socket and P spindle uses four and one eighth inch socket. Zip torque has six points and Pro torque has eight points. HD Nobly specially designed a hub puller for us. We'll use that. And you'll need a rubber mallet for seal installation. Final item that you're going to need is an impact wrench, air or electric. Before we get started, safety first. Place jack stands in place under a secure point of the vehicle frame before you remove the wheels. Activate the parking brake. Make sure the hub cannot rotate. Then turn off the PSI valve on the control box before you disconnect or remove PSI hoses and through tees. Remove PSI through tee and hubcap. Hubcaps are reusable, so what we want to do is clean this one out with a clean shop towel. Next step is to clean out all of this grease. Now that we've properly cleaned the spindle nut and the surrounding area, we'll use the four and one eighth socket to release the spindle nut. Remove the spindle nut, place it on a clean surface, and cover it with a clean shop towel. Now we're going to remove the bearing cone. Grab a flat screwdriver, carefully remove the cone. Once you've got it out, wipe off the excess grease. Set it aside to a clean spot. Cover with a clean shop towel. Next, we're gonna remove disc bolts and washers 
10 of them using impact wrench and 24 millimeter socket. Next, we're gonna remove the hub using the specially designed HD Nobby hub puller. One, two, three. Make sure you clean both inside and outside the hub. Next, we're going to blow dust and debris from the bolt holes using a air blow gun. Next, we want to clean the rotor bore and the spindle. We want to make sure that we've cleaned thoroughly inside the bore, the spindle, and the shoulder. And before we install the seal, use a shop towel to cover the spindle. This is an SKF seal. It requires a wet installation. So what we wanna do is apply grease on the outside and the inside of the seal, lightly. As you can see, that's too much. So we're gonna take a clean shop towel and remove that. Just requires a light film. Now it's time to install the inner bearing and the seal. So grab your inner bearing from its clean and non-contaminated space and put it into position. Next, take your seal, which has been lightly coated with grease, place it on top, use the two palms, and put pressure on the seal to get it into position. Then take your rubber mallet and tap it into place. To make sure that we've installed the seal correctly, it should be flush, and you want to make the top part of the seal pop up and spin it, then you've got a good installation. It's important as we get ready to dock the hub onto the spindle that we avoid the, the threads where we might do damage to the seal and that we ensure that we dock the, sh the seal all the way to the shoulder. The next step is to apply grease to the spindle. As soon as the seal is docked on the shoulder, we want to install the, the outer bearing. <laughs> Next step, install the outer bearing. Next step, install spindle nut and tighten by hand till snug. Okay, before reinstalling the disc mounting bolts and washers, make sure that you take a wire brush and clean up any old Loctite. And use high temperature Loctite and put a patch around each bolt of a couple of threads. Apply impact. Once the 10 disc bolts have been installed, we want to check the torque value with our torque wrench. Recommended is 190 to 210. We have it set for 200. Now it's time to seat the bearings using the proper socket 
we're going to use the following procedure. Using the torque wrench with the socket, uh, we're going to tighten the nut to 200 pounds foot. We're going to spin the wheel hub at least one rotation. We're going to do this three times. Next, we're going to back off one full rotation. And I'm going to do four quarter turns. Now we're going to adjust the bearing using a torque wrench. Tighten the nut to 100 foot pound, spinning the wheel hub assembly at least one rotation. I'm going to do that three times. Now I'm going to back off the nut one eighth turn, which is 45 degrees. This is the uh, in play device that uh, used by HD Nobby. Uh, I'm going to check the in play now. Looks like it's right at 2000. Okay, next, now we're ready to reinstall the hub cap with a new gasket. Now we've cleaned the hubcap, and if you notice uh, any debris or dirt down in these vents, you can use your air gun to blow those out, clean it up. Let's go ahead and install it. Recommended torque for hubcap bolts is 12 to 18 pounds. We set our wrench at 16 pounds. Let's see what we've got. Now it's time to install the PSI through T to the hubcap. Should be hand tight. Installation is complete. Now we need to make witness marks on the bolts. The last process, but the most important for the wheel end is to fill it with grease. So what we're going to do with this piece bundle is we're going to do a metered fill to 34 ounces. And we're using a metered uh, machine right here. So let's just do that process now and fill it to 34 ounces. <laughs> 